Hey everyone, this is Ellie Mae with Swift Creek Customs, and typically I try to include all of the steps for a project into one video. But sometimes you have a project that takes on a life of its own, and as you think about things and create with it, you think of new ideas. So in the links in the description below, check those for part one and part two, where I show you how to create this design in the Leonardo Design Studio software for a mirrored image. And then I have a part two where I took this one step farther and I used a double-sided card, sort of a mirrored image, double-sided card. But what I found out and started thinking about is that the card really didn't stand up on its own. So I want to come in here and I'm going to create a stand that I can attach to the bottom here. And I wanted to show you how I do that. But the main part of the video is going to be sharing some tools in the Leonardo Design Studio software that can help you when you want to place an object in a certain location. So I'm first going to start with this hedgehog and each one of these is going to have different sizes for the stands because they are different size designs. So let's take a look. Here's the finished photo of just the double-sided card that is standing up. Now, I had to fold them and try to get them to stand up for that photo, and then overnight, my brain just kept going, and I decided I needed a stand for it. So I'm just going to create that, and I'm going to come over here to my Draw Shapes tool, and I'm simply going to first start by drawing out a rectangle. I'm just going to leave it that color so we can see it, and I want to zoom in here. Now, I'm going to create this rectangle shape, and let's just say about 2.5 inches. So if I come over here to the properties panel and down at the bottom is the width and the height. With this lock unlocked, I can change the width and the height separately. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make this an even 2.5 inches. That should be stable enough to sit on my table. And then you need to decide how wide you want the piece that's in contact with the table. So how wide is it going to have that bottom of the base? So if I did that and I put in, let's just put in 1.5 inches. So this is going to be the base that stands on my flat table surface. Now, I want a little fold on each side of this base that I can attach to the back side of this card. So I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to add another inch because I want the um, fold lines to be about 0.5 inches. And you're just going to have to play with this. Every single design is going to be different in what works. And we're going to see if this works out for me. So I'm going to type in 2.5 inches. So I actually have a perfect square. So now let's zoom out here and I'm going to just bring this up here to the top. So this is going to be the base that is attached to both sides on the inside of this. And what I want to do is I'm going to change the color of this so we can see it just a little bit better. And then the first thing I'm going to do is we are going to use the tools in Leonardo Design Studio software to get exact placement at a half an inch from either edge of this so that I can then fold it over and attach it to the back of this card and make a stand. So what I want to do first is I'm going to come over here under the properties panel and choose select this little box that says position that is going to give me my x and my y axis now these are tools that are going to help you so just bear with me as we go through this and it does take a little bit of practice this top one is going to be zero axis which is the top portion of my mat so if i come over here and type zero that places my design at the zero y axis now, what I want to do is I want to create a score line. So I'm going to come down here to the draw tool and I'm simply going to choose the pen and I'm going to draw a line and hold my shift key down and I can either hit escape to cancel and end this or enter to be done or I can right click and choose done. So now I have this line that is very difficult to see. So I'm going to change this to a red. And then this is going to be my score line. I'm going to use a dashed line here. So I'm going to come over to the properties panel and change this to a large dash. Now what I can do is I'm going to select my rectangle and my score line and I just want to center that. 
And then if I click off to deselect, click back on my score line, I'm going to come back over here with my position checked. I'm going to change that to zero. So it's going to put that at the top of my rectangle. Now I'm going to easily, so you can see these different layers. I have this curve is the line that I drew as my score line. So what I wanna do is I'm going to make a copy of this cause I need two score lines. So control C, control V, and you can see that it added two. Now this first one here, I want to position it at 0.5 inches from the top. So I'm gonna come back to the color pick menu, position is checked, and I want to change this top to 0.5. And it's going to move it exactly 0.5 inches, where, which is where I need it to be. I'm going to select the second one. And this time I want it 0.5 inches from down here. So my entire design, if I click on my rectangle, is 2.5 inches wide. So if I move this one down to the two inch mark, whoops, my rectangle is still selected. Click off, click back on my line, move this to the two, two inch mark. And now I have my score lines positioned exactly where I want them to be. I'm going to make sure that I change. And currently this shows as default print. I want it to be a cut line. And I'll change that on the other one as well, cut line. And then this here also shows as default print because I opened a file that was set to default print. So if I change that to a cut tool, now I have my shape. I'm going to select all and group. And then this is going to be the little base. I'm going to cut and I will share a photo of if this works. Now, this one will work for the large design, but I will need to scale this down. And let's see if I can just come in here and if I, whoops, copy, Control-C, Control-V. If I scale this down a little bit, what you're going to have is you're going to have a smaller section here that is attached to your card base. This might work in, it might work out. Um, I can test it and we see, but you would design it the same way here if you wanted that half inch stability that goes onto the back of the card base. So I'm going to cut this with my Caesar Juliet and then I'll share a photo of the finished project. So here's just a quick look at the Juliet in action. I just took a scrap piece uh, from a failed project that I had of white cardstock. You can see on the right that the unicorn didn't even want to stand up for the video. And that was the whole point of making the stands. So Juliet makes very quick work of these two little cardstock stands. And then I took some double-sided tape and just added that to the uh, sides where it's going to connect to the card and peeled the backing off of that and then added it. I'm a little off camera here, which is a unfortunate, but I hope you get the idea of how I just attached that to the backside of each side of that card. And then it just stood up so much nicer and so cute. All of the links are in the description below for how to create this, the part two on how I created this card, and you can see here how much nicer it stands up on the table for that. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, but thanks for joining me and have a great day.